Hello again, Sage here. Welcome to this edition of the Hot Performers Show by Calkine TV. In today's show, we'll be throwing some light on Cube's share price today. So let's begin. Cube is a diversified logistics and infrastructure company in Australia and shares of Cube today surged over 3% and hit a high of $3.12 Australian in the early trade. The shares of this diversified logistics and infrastructure company moved up from the previous closing of $3.01. The stock surged sharply after the company announced a $400 million Australian dollar off-market buyback program via a conducted tender process. So without any further ado, we have some information for you. Let's take a look at how this development went and the company's performance so far. As revealed in its half-year results in late February, Cube said it planned to return 400 million Australian dollars of capital to shareholders in the fiscal year 22, following the completion of the Moorbank Logistics Park transaction. Cube expects to announce the results of the buyback on 16th May 2022. The company stated that it does not anticipate any changes to the times and dates set out in the indicative timetable, but it reserves the right to vary them without notification. Now coming to what the company believes the buyback would do. As per the company's ASX announcement, the buyback is expected to improve return on equity cash flow per share and earnings per share for all shareholders. The company believes that it is an efficient means of returning capital to shareholders. Cube also highlighted that for some of the shareholders, an after-tax return from participating in the buyback may be greater than the return from the sale of their shares on market, depending on their tax status. Let's see what the management have to say. Commenting on the development, Cube's managing director Paul Digney stated that the completion of the sale of Moorbank Logistics Park, coupled with Cube's strong financial performance, would help in achieving record underlying earnings in fiscal year 21 and the first half of fiscal year 22 have contributed to a strong capital position. This has allowed the company to announce this off-market buyback. He also stated that the board has carefully considered the best way to return capital to shareholders and the off-market buyback seems the most effective method. He was of the view that it would optimise the company's capital structure at this time. Looking at Cube's half-year financial results, for the half-year ending 31st December 2021, Cube reported a revenue rise of 26.7% on the prior corresponding period to 1.19 billion Australian dollars. The company's earnings before interest, taxes and amortisation was up 0.7% to reach 95.1 million Australian dollars. Its net profit after tax was down 2.6% to 56.3 million Australian dollars. The company also announced a 20% boost to its dividend to 3 cents per share. It will be paid to investors on the 8th of April 2022. And now it's time to wrap up today's show, but thank you for your company on that report. Cube's shares are trading at $3.04 Australian. Currently the stock's 52-week high stand at $3.46 and low is $2.72. And that's all for now for this edition of The Hot Performers. And meanwhile, keep watching Calcine TV for the latest on the market and business news. Sage signing off for now.